China has agreed to invest in Pakistan's energy sector. President Asif Zadari is in Beijing at the beginning of a week-long visit. And with that deal and rumors of further nuclear agreements in the offing, U.S. influence over Pakistan appears to be waning. Well, for more, we're now joined by Dr. Anatole Levin from King's College in London. Uh, Dr. Levin, many thanks for joining us. So Pakistan is strengthening ties with China. Why is it seeking a major partner other than the U.S., do you think? Uh, China and Pakistan have been partners for 40 years now, more than 40 years. Uh, initially, this was motivated above all uh, by mutual hostility to India. Uh, now, in addition, China has a very strong interest in Pakistan as a future energy route from the Persian Gulf to China. So this isn't new. Uh, the nuclear element is new, and this is very much a response to America's nu nuclear deal with India. Because, of course, it's pretty ironic that the United States is now saying that China is threatening the NPT and so forth, because it was uh, America's deal with India, uh, which really, well, on top, of course, of America's relations with Israel, uh, which shattered the NPT in that part of the world. Now, you've mentioned uh, the nuclear deal struck between the US and India some two years ago, and, and China is expected to build two nuclear power plants we now know in Pakistan. Why else do you think is Washington's reaction to that deal so negative? Well, it's, it's two things. It's partly, of course, that yes, there is rivalry for interest, uh, for influence in Pakistan between uh, Beijing and Washington. Uh, but it's also, of course, that the United States uh, is very worried about the spread of nuclear uh, energy and nuclear technology in the Muslim world, and especially, of course, in Pakistan, for fear that this might fall into the hands of terrorists. Now, this threat, in my view, is greatly exaggerated. Pakistan is not nearly as weak a state as most Americans believe. But nonetheless, they do believe that there is this threat, and they therefore see Pakistan Pakistan in a quite different category from India. Well, in that, Pakistan has recently had uh, uh, military drills with China. So what kind of strategic uh, partnership do you think ties them? Well, as I say, it's partly that they both are hostile to India, more or less. Um, and uh, Pakistan looks to China for support against India, China looks to Pakistan for balancing against India. Uh, but it's also increasingly that China is very worried uh, that its growing economy is far too dependent on uh, seaborne energy routes from the Persian Gulf, and that in any future conflict, the Indian Navy would find it very easy to block those uh, those sea routes across the Indian Ocean. And so Pakistan, uh, I'm sorry, China has been looking at a variety of different overland routes for energy from the Persian Gulf uh, to flow to China. And one of those uh, possibilities, uh, well, actually it's becoming a reality, is to build an oil and gas pipeline uh, across Pakistan uh, uh, along the line of the existing Karakoram Highway across the Himalayas to Chinese Tibet and then on to the heartland of China. So this is the other great uh, Chinese interest there. What China has not yet formulated, I think, or has certainly not expressed, is a clear policy towards the Afghan Taliban uh, and towards the future of Afghanistan. This is something in which, of course, Pakistan plays a very important role. Uh, the Chinese are hostile to the Taliban, obviously as a Muslim radical force, uh, but they haven't as yet allowed this to have any impact uh, on their relations with Pakistan. And a key question is where China's fear of the Taliban will lead them in future. Now, a survey conducted in Pakistan by the Pew Research Center recently suggested that only some 16% uh, of respondents had a favorable view of the United States. Do you think that Pakistani politicians would provide similar results? At heart, to a considerable extent, yes. Uh, but um, th there are two very important factors at work. The first is that a much higher proportion of Pakistani politicians coming from the elites tend to be westernized, and they have children in universities in America. They rely on America to support them against Islamist radicals at home. The other important thing uh, is that up to now, the Pakistani military 
has been chiefly, in fact overwhelmingly reliant on the United States for military assistance and for arms sales. Now, with the growth of the Chinese high-tech uh, economy and defense sector, that could be beginning to change. Uh, and that could be of crucial importance. If the Pakistani military felt that they no longer needed the Americans and could rely on the Chinese instead, if for that matter the Pakistani elites felt that the Chinese could provide economic aid to compensate for American aid, well that could lead to a really radical uh, Pakistani swing away from the United States. Okay, uh, Dr. But that hasn't happened yet. Dr. Anatoly Vin, I'm afraid we're going to have to leave it there, but many thanks. That was Dr. Levin from King's College in London speaking to us.